Hello everyone. Today we will be learning two things. The first thing is modular arithmetic, how to apply it in a problem. And the second thing is how to do the same problem without using modular arithmetic. So just using let's say binomial theorem. So both of these ideas are discussed in the math Olympiad program at Chinta in the number theory module and the ISI entrance program at Chinta. So you can go to chinta.com to check those out as well if you want. Anyway, so what is the problem? The problem is this, that we want to show 7 always divides 3 to the power 2n plus 1 plus 2 to the power n plus 2. So this expression 3 to the power 2n plus 1 plus 2 to the power n plus 2, this is always divisible by 7. We want to show this for all positive integers 1 2 3 4 whatever n equal to so i'll write that n is equals to all positive integers so how do we show this well let's start with the proof using modular arithmetic it's really simple And if you do not know what is modular arithmetic, if you are unaware of that concept, do not worry. You can click on the link of in the description and you can learn about the concept behind modular arithmetic. It's quite beautiful. So we start by simplifying this expression. So this is 3 times 3 to the power 2n plus 2 squared times 2 to the power n. Now, that implies that this is equal to 3, to 3 times 9 to the power n plus 4 times 2 to the power n. Okay, so 9 is definitely congruent to 2 mod 7 and 4 is congruent to negative 3 mod 7. Right, so one last step, this is 3 times Ne 2 to the power n this is congruent to I would shouldn't write equal to I should write this is congruent to 3 times 2 to the power n so instead of 9 to the power n I'm just replacing it with 2 to the power n and 4 will be replaced by negative 3 so negative 3 times 2 to the power n which is congruent to 0 mod 7 this is definitely understandable uh, if you know modular arithmetic. So we are done. Using modular arithmetic, this is just a three step process. We prove that this particular expression is congruent to 0 mod 7, which means this is divisible by 7, right? Okay, so what if you do not know modular arithmetic and if you do not want to use modular arithmetic, can you not do this problem? Of course you can. You have to work a little bit harder. So I will just replace this first step, last step, because that one in, involves modular arithmetic. And I'll get ri rid of this one as well. So what we will do is, we will sort of shorten this up, pull it here. And now we will try to use binomial theorem instead of modular arithmetic. So let's try, try that. I'll use a different color here. So this is 3 times 2 to the power, 9 to the power n. So I can write 9 as 7 plus 2 raised to the power n, right? 9 is 7 plus 2. No problem with that. And 4, I will write as 7 minus 3 times 2 to the power n, okay? So now I will use binomial theorem to expand this particular expression. So what will I get? I'll get 3 times... Okay, I'll get 3 times 7 to the power n. Okay, I'll just put it in the bracket. 7 to the power n plus n choose 1, 7 to the power n minus 1, 2, and so on. And then 
up to n choose n minus 1 7 to the power 1 2 to the power n minus 1 plus n choose n 7 to the power 0 which is 1 times 2 to the power n okay and I'll exp expand this one this is plus 7 to the power 7 times 2 to the power n minus 3 times 2 to the power n Great. So now I will open this bracket, open the parentheses right here. So this will give me 3 times 7 to the power n plus n choose 1 times 3 times 7 to the power n minus 1 times 2 up to the last one n minus 1 times 3 times 7 times 2 to the power n minus 1 plus 3 times 3 times 2 to the power n okay so that's what I have here and I also have plus I'll use a different color plus 7 times 2 to the power n minus 3 times 2 to the power n okay. so these two cancels off good thing the rest of the expressions each of the remaining pieces notice they have at least one seven 7 to the power 1 or more in that expression. So each of these pieces is divisible by 7. So we can take a 7 common. So that means the total thing is divisible by 7. That's what we wanted to show that this expression is divisible by 7. So that's it. So we proved that 3 to the power 2n plus 1 plus 2 to the power n plus 2 is divisible by 7 using two different methods, modular arithmetic and not modular arithmetic, which is binomial theorem. You see a little bit of binomial theorem there. Um, a single problem can be done in different ways, and you can learn a lot by doing it in different ways. Uh, keep on doing great mathematics. I'll be back with the, with the next video pretty soon. Uh, take care.